Alright guys, here's the second video tutorial for SDL that I'm making. Um, right, what I'd like to get done in this video, I'd like to go over these, all these functions. Uh, I'm not going to read them out because there's a lot and I'm trying to save time. Um, and you might see it cut at certain points, like there'll be nothing in this code box and then all of a sudden it'll cut and then there'll just be code there. I'm, I'll probably be pausing it at times so I could put in the code. That's just save time. Anyways, uh, let's just jump right into it. So, uh, basically last time we made uh, a simple, uh, it wasn't even an application, it just kind of initialized SDL then shut down SDL. So, we're going to need to initialize SDL again. So, SDL init, um, we're only going to use video right now. So, I'm only going to initialize video. Um, and here's one of those times where I'm going to pause it. Alright, so now you see cut. There's code now. Um, so basically, I'm going to run through this real quick. I initialize the video. Now I make two of something called an SDL surface. An SDL surface is basically in I'm going to say image, but you're also going to use one for the actual screen. Um, so to make your, sh I made I made one called image, one called buffer. Buffer is going to be my screen uh, or my window. So then, um, basically, buffer <coughs> and you use SDL set video mode to set up your main game window. So now the arguments for that is going to be the width of the screen, which I set as 640, the height, which I set at 480, the bits per pixel, which I set at 32, and then th these are flags, basically. Um, you'll see in, SDL, in uh, Lazy Foo's tutorial, instead of SDL HW surface and SDL double buff, he uses uh, SDL SW surface. The reason I use these flags over the software surface, which is what the SW stands for, is because this will prevent flickering. After a while, when you start getting into movement and animations and stuff, this uh, you'll probably noticing notice some flickering as you're moving, and that's kind of choppy. I don't like it. And uh, this is what fixes it. Basically, with the double, with the double buff, you can only use double buff with hardware surface. And what double buff does is uh, basically you'll have one buffer, and uh, double buff before it puts anything on the main screen, it's going to put it on a back buffer, and then it's going to put the entire back buffer after all the drawings done onto the main window. So you're not going to see anything that's in the process of being drawn, and that's why it stops the flickering. Um, I suspect Lazy Foo knows this is probably better uh, but he wanted to keep it keep the tutorials accessible to a wide variety of people even with people who couldn't use uh, the double buff or hardware surface flags but uh, enough of that so let's move on in the code so right here the image equals SDL load BMP so SDL load BMP it takes in a a uh, file name pretty much or actually a file path more like it so over in graphics hello yt.bmp exists and it's going to load that so then after that I'm going to blit the surface to the screen which basically means I'm just going to put it on the screen I'm putting the image on the screen and I'm putting it on buffer so basically this is the source this is going to be the clipping rectangle but you don't need to worry about right that right now we'll talk about that later this is the screen that's the uh, where you want the that's like the offsets where you want to put it on the screen um, so then SDL flip just updates the screen um, there's also another function you can use SDL update rect and then you can just pass in a rectangle so you can update portions of the screen at a time um, but if you want to update the entire screen you just use SDL flip and then right here I have an SDL delay which takes in a number of milliseconds and pauses for that long. And then after that, I free the image surface and call a stale quit. Uh, so you may be wondering right now why I don't free the buffer. Um, 
STL Quit does that for you, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, I've already compiled it, so I'm just going to run it real quick and see there's my thing. And you see I can't do anything to close it or anything. It'll close on its own. All right. So now that we've gone over load BMP and set video mode, I'm going to take these off the list. We're going to move on to image load. So to use image load, you're going to have to set up STL image. So right here, you're going to want to come to this page, libstl.org slash projects slash STL image. And um, you're going to want to come down here, come to this right here, and download that. Then you're going to notice there's two main folders that you're going to care about right now. It's going to have a lib and a, li a lib and an include folder. Basically, all you want to do is go to where you have all your stuff. So uh, from the from when you previously installed SDL. So in your actual SDL folder that you had downloaded that has all this stuff in it, you have an include folder, SDL subfolder, and this is where you want to put the SDL image. Then um, back here in lib, you're going to want to put all the lib files and any .dlls that are there in here. Okay, and now just like you took the SDL .dll and put it in um, your um, put it in your project directory, you're going to want to take all these and put it in your project directory. So as we can see, we'll go F projects, video test, and then I have all these .dlls because it's going to be using those. Um, this is an important that was from debugging I was doing earlier. Um, so now uh, I'm going to make a ex quick example of you uh, using um, image load which is from the STL image library just know you gotta include the header right there just like that and you should be fine so here we go alright so uh, now I got the code all out um, I think I already said this but make sure you have this header included along with the SDL header so um, in this one in this little code thing we're going to show image load and STL display format so basically uh, before we were able to load a bitmap bit map, but if we wanted to load any other type of image file uh, STL is out of lack pretty much and you're gonna have to uh, use STL image or some other image library um, so basically uh, to load an image with STL image you use the function image load and just like load BMP that takes in the path to a file and this time I made a PNG um, so now but I also have another STL surface up here called formatted image so um, that's comes in play right here so after we load in the PNG the PNG needs to be formatted pretty much to how our screen is set up so we can easily blit it um, they need to be the same format so you have your formatted image and you're going to give it the value of STL display format image. So that's going to format this image so then we have a nice image ready to put on the screen. Um, the rest of the program is mostly the same except instead of putting image on the screen to put the formatted image on. Um, you can, I'm pretty sure, go without the formatted image but that without STL display format but that is slow because then it's uh, basically formatting it on the fly and uh, usually you don't want to do that um, so usually you'll want to format it right after you load it in and uh, usually you'll probably be using PNGs for games and stuff just because PNGs are kind of uh, small files and stuff and they're easy to make transparencies um, so anyways, uh, I'll just run this, and it's a different image, still can't do anything because it's a pause. So now that we got that, let's take these off, and I'll show you, uh, show you these next. Alright, 